Hello everybody, this is Mr. Debitron and welcome back to another tutorial. So this one is actually the most easiest tutorial I've ever done in my life. <laughs> but um, today what I'm going to sh um, t uh, show you how to do is, um, if you, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever used this object, but I know that not a lot of people have used it, but I've been trying to use it recently, but... I know I know how to use it, like the way I want to use it. But the thing is, I don't use uh, developer anymore. I only use standard. So yeah, I, I'm kind of stuck there. But have any of you used the OS object? Allows you to retrieve system information, username, language, environment variables, and etc. For pro version. So this is only for developer version. Let's put this into the frame. Now, let's put a piece of text into the frame. So, a string. So, as you can see, string. So, if, for example, in a game you want it to, like, display your name, but you, if you want to play a game where you never actually gave your name into the game, but the game already knows your name, then this is the tutorial for you. So, go to start frame, yeah, I would put in, and then uh, just uh, go to string, and then change alterable string, and then go to OS, and as you can see, it has all of these things. Now, username, with Windows 8, Windows 10 people, it may say owner, but if you click on computer name, It's gonna say like my computer name. It says Ender because my computer name is Ender. So if I were, if I change, if I change it back to username, like I said, it would just go to owner. So you have to have it on computer name, and then it will say Ender. Now, if you want to actually save it and use that name to basically um i don't know use the name to like use their name to like talk to other uh, characters in the game so that they can actually call you by your actual name so if you want to do that then all you have to do is use the any object and then start frame Set current file to uh, let's just say um, computer name. Set current group to name, and then um, set string. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I want to show you something real quickly though. Right. So to access your um, this thing to, to access MMF applications, all you have to do is either go when you're on Windows 10, or obviously you have to go to um, your your Cortana thingy, Majiggy. Then all then we have to do is type in um, percent app de, uh, whoops percent app data. And then percent, then that will come up. Or you could obviously just like do uh, Windows R and then type it in there. But either way, it's up to you. Um, but going to MF applications, and I haven't even to, like start at the game yet. Whoops. So there we go. So now it appears here. So Maybe not. Oh yeah, obviously I need to actually set a value. So um, let's just put name equals one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And then there we go. Computer name. So name equals one. 
So as you can see, so as you saw there, and like there's nothing but the name equals one. So now a start of frame, uh, set string to OS computer uh, computer name, and there we go. So now do that, and now all you have to do is go to computer name again. And there you go. Your computer name is now stored in the any, any file, so now it is saved forever until you delete it, or yeah, until you delete it. So that's it of um, saving your own name, like your computer name and stuff. Basically, this is a tutorial on how to use uh, the OS object in a scary way. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you all. Later.